What's up everybody? This is Jason Robel here from jasonrobel.com. That's Jason W R O B as in baby el.com. I'm here with Dr. Robert Kassar, one of the world's leading experts in superfoods, nutrifying the body and basically just making you into the superhero you were meant to be. Dr. Kassar. That's nice for you to say that. Awesome seeing you. <laughs> Thanks for thank being you. here on the show. Ah, thank you for doing. He does all these recipes that I don't really do a lot of and I do more education. So this is a good combo here. Look at his films because he's got a lot of videos on recipes and I got a lot of videos on education. You mix them both together and there's a reason why you're going to do this stuff. So Dynamic duo, doctor. Uh, so peeps, Dr. Kassar is here to make a fantastic new recipe. We're going to be doing a superfood iced mocha latte, aka the Be Well Buzz drink. So the first ingredient in our superfood iced mocha latte, Dr. Kassar, is coffee. Cafe. Now, what makes this particular coffee so nutrifying and so special? Give it a smell. Super coffee. It's so robust. Robel robust. This is from the wow. Big Island of Hawaii. It's uh, from the Hamakua Coast where I live up there in Hawaii. And everything that grows in Hawaii is super robust. So I'm really trying to use a flavorful coffee and a coffee that's not full of acid. You can use yerba mate tea. Mm and or what I usually use sometimes too is blue-green algae. With a little agave yeah. or stevia? Uh -huh. Off the charts. You're trying to get a full spectrum of minerals mm -hmm. and fats with as low amount of sugar as you can because the sugar is what gets you hungry in a few hours. Right. It's not the oils. The oils give you cessation. They make you feel fulfilled. And having sugar or just coffee, remember most people have a coffee and what do they have? a cigarette mm -hmm. or something to sort of calm them down because the coffee amps them up. Right. So the oils actually grounds you and the sugars that you're going to put in. I try to use, you know, mineralized sugars like maybe palm sugar, mm -hmm. agave or uh, even a sweetener, what I call like lacuma, mesquite mm -hmm. pod mm -hmm. or zero calories, which is really the smartest thing to do, which is stevia. To make a proper mocha latte, we've got a little bit of almond milk here. We're starting our superfoods with two potent Ayurvedic herbs. We've got makuna and we've got shilajit. So Dr. Kassar, let's jump into the awesome benefits, not only nutritionally, but flavor wise of adding these two ingredients. Why are we adding these? Well, makuna is to activate your brain for clarity. Mm -hmm. Makuna's got a variety of different um, minerals, you can say, to activate your brain, to give it so it's got like its morning movement. Makuna makes you happy, it does. It's actually a brain chemical to give you happiness. Makuna Matata? Makuna Matata, and it tastes pretty good. So this is potent stuff. How much do you think we should add to uh, I use like mixer? about a quarter to half a teaspoon. I have made some coffee-esque drinks in the kitchen with mm -hmm. shilajit, and I know it's really potent, so to this amount, would you say also a half teaspoon? Sure. Okay. And the, and the shilajit uh, has the components of fulvic, humic, mm. and ulmic acids in it. You can wow. tell it's got that really roasty super... Roasty flavor almost, a roasty smell. People don't really know until they've had actual ground vanilla bean what real vanilla tastes like. That's I right. mean, this is outstanding. Most people have only, <sighs> only had the synthetic vanilla. Right. And just, I haven't even smelled it. It's just everywhere. What a smell. Okay, how much of this bad boy should we add? I put in like a half a teaspoon, same thing. Okay. Next up, we've got raw cacao powder. Now, this is one of my all-time favorite superfoods, simply oh, yeah. because of the versatility of this mm -hmm. ingredient. So, why are we adding the raw cacao to this drink today? Well, this is the powder, and the powder, this powder is 26% fat. And most of the powders, as you'll notice, they're about 6 and 7%. What they do is, most of the powders, they squeeze the butter out, and then they take the, the cacao that's left, and then they grind it up and usually sell that to people. But this is made where it's not just the butter that's been squeezed out. 26% mm -hmm. is the maximum amount of oil that you can get in the powder before it doesn't become powder anymore. Ah. So as you notice, this is really dark brown and a lot of the other cacao powders, what it is is just sort of residue from, from the butter that they squeeze. And what they found is they found a way to be able to sell cacao powder that really doesn't have any nutrients, but wow. this stuff makes it taste like super chocolate. Maybe oh, two yeah. tablespoons, two, two heaping? Heaping. You're That's like be, three. Yeah, you're not going to be hungry for a reason. Speaking of really healthy fats, we've got OGO organic hemp seeds. So, Dr. Hemp seeds, super tasty, super nutty flavor. Again, adding the, these to the recipe gives us what benefits? The hemp seeds have a full, complete protein in them. They have all your oils in them, and mm -hmm. you know, you pull out one of these, you wonder, you see regular seeds, and each one of these seeds have been cracked. That's why we call these the primo seed. The inside and the inside of the shell 
Uh, then the seed has all the protein, all the fat. Mm -hmm. So I like to use like a quarter to a half a cup of this. Your body runs off of oils way better than it runs off of sugars. Oils have nine calories per gram. Sugars only have four calories per gram. Protein has four calories per gram. Ah. So when we're looking for fuel, you want more calories, but good calories, because there's bad calories and there's good calories. Right. Everything we have here are good calories, because bad calories would be that you're putting in calories, but your body really can't digest them, or the calories give you residue. And okay. residue means that you get residue. You start to grow <sighs> bigger and bigger and Lots bigger. of residue. So the oils that we're having now, these are essential to keep, your body needs oil, because fats are the premium food. Your body has to be able to understand how to digest them. So what you do is you're staying away from sugars and you're increasing your good fats. Mm -hmm. It takes 10 pounds of raw fat just to regenerate your liver in two months. 10, 10 pounds? pounds of fat to regenerate your liver. Your skin regenerates every 30 days. Mm -hmm. Your whole body regenerates within a year. And if you don't have the oils, it can't regenerate. So this is gonna give you a feeling of fullness, you guys. It's gonna help people get through their day with that energy, mm -hmm. with that cessation, that feeling of, of fulfillment. And it's also gonna taste amazing, too. But no bloating. No bloating. No bloating. <laughs> no Buddha belly. No Buddha Not on this show. Uh-uh. Well, people say, look, hey, I'll show you. Look, people say, hey, how do you get this? Because no I, eat, bellies. I eat oils. And people say, if you have oils, how do you get so lean? Because oils get you lean. Sugar's what actually makes you not get lean. And people ask me that all the time. And I tell people I eat a ton of heart healthy fats and I've been lean my whole life. And look at you. So it's kind okay. of counterintuitive though with the knowledge people have been given of low fat diet. Like in the 80s and 90s, it was all about low fat, zero fat. But it is clearly counterintuitive to health. Think of it this way, you have oils that actually stick inside you versus oils that actually help things flow through you. Right. These are the oils that help you flow. That's why they always say to, don't eat trans fatty acids because that's close to plastic. So when you cook certain oils, they really can't hold the, the, the essence of an oil, so they mm -hmm. turn almost into plastic. And once you put these oils inside you, what do you think it does? It clogs you up. Wow, that's not the kind of superhero you want to be, guys. We're not talking about Plastic Man here. We're talking yeah. about like superheroes that can fly and jump over buildings and shoot yeah. lasers out of their hands. Not Plastic Man. Yeah. Speaking of superheroes, Doctor, chia seeds, OGO chia seeds, the Aztecs were taking these centuries ago, weren't they, for speed, power, endurance. Yeah. These are one of the world's top superfoods. I have about four tablespoons every day of chia. Chia is the most fantastic seed there is. This is chia too, about an hour in water and chia is a mucoloid. So this is what it turns into, this sort of mucusy and this is what helps you in the morning evacuate. Let's do two heaping tablespoons here. Hey, or more. So doctor, you could say that chia seeds are like the Arnold Schwarzenegger of the superfood world. Get to the hopper! Uh, <laughs> it's time to bust out, yeah, the dash. You see this, this is actually measuring spoons <laughs> that have tad, smidgen, tidbit, and dash. <laughs> so cool, right? So we're adding next um, a dash of our Himalayan crystal salt. And so not all salts are the same. We tell, talked about Tell us this. why though. Tell all the viewers out there why. Well, you got regular salt, which is just sodium chloride, which just dries you out. And when you go to the doctor and he says, keep your salt intake down, mm -hmm. that's true, sodium chloride. Now, then you got sea salt. And sea salt is, is not called crystallized or formed. Sea salt, remember, is, is outside in the industrial revolutional world. It, it absorbs a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. This is coming from a closed mine. It's about 300 million years old, and it's crystal salt, because if you look at it under a microscope, mm -hmm. it has a crystal. It's really hard, and this is stone ground. Make sure that any salt that you buy, it's not metal ground. They start out, when we go ahead and go to, to the, the Himalayas, which is where they actually made, they start out with a grinder this big, and in about a month, the metal blade gets this big. Where do you think all the stainless steel, which is nickel, goes? It goes in the salt. Wow. So it's very smart only to have, number one, crystal salt, but stone ground. Now, our last ingredient is stevia powder. This is actually whole leaf stevia, raw stevia, doctor. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned earlier that it's that kind of magic ratio where you find the perfect amount, and that's an art form in and of itself. Start with a quarter teaspoon and mm -hmm. see where that gets us in the world, shall we? The healthier you are, the less sugar you need. You'll find out if things don't taste as sweet as uh, 
you'd like them to in about a month or two once you start having a lot of these superfoods or drinking a lot of the drinks we want you to drink you'll find out that your sugar taste is not really what you want anymore you like salty mm -hmm. oily sour and bitter that tastes good yeah and when you're not healthy you just like sweet sugary uh, not really the oils, because the oils really, remember, they make you healthy. Mm -hmm. the sugars make you sick. We gotta ice this baby, right, if we're gonna have an authentic ice mocha latte, so we're yeah, gonna Yeah, you can a grind life. it up, grind it up first, to okay. go ahead and grind it down. 40 seconds to heaven, my friend. Exactly. Should Look we give her a try right now? I broke everything down beautifully. That's oh, a nice blender. Wow. This is a nice blender. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like an iPhone, but in blender form. So, it's time to give it a taste here, and uh, yeah, cool. adjust for any uh, sweetness levels, maybe, or before we get to the iced stage. So we're gonna double the amount of stevia here, just to bump it up, just to get it to people's maybe more mainstream palates here, like you mm -hmm. said. You put in a little stevia, look how much different it is now. It's amazing, we just doubled the amount and it's mm -hmm. a completely different experience. Look at that, look at the bubbles, look at the aeration, the oxygenation of all that. And you notice how it doesn't <sighs> come apart, it's all in oh, yeah. one. So we're taking it to the next mm -hmm. level. How are you gonna top this bad boy? Coconut. Because a lot of the coconut you get, doesn't have the smell to it. Right. These are goji berries from Earthshift and... Oh, so I'm, they're just moist too. Yeah, that's where you can get these different products all under one roof on the internet or you go to the OGO brand and you go to your store and wow. get them conveniently. Dr. Kassar, we, uh, we do this thing where we ask for a thumbs up from the YouTube viewers out there, big right. fat thumbs up. And we would love to know, after you drink your water in the morning, after you get hydrated, what is your favorite way to start your day breakfast-wise? Leave me a comment. You know, leave me a comment below and let us know what kind of recipes maybe we can make here on the show to remineralize, take to a superfood level. If it's a coffee drink, if it's a porridge, if it's an oatmeal, let us know and we'll try and make a OGO superfood version here on the show. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I want to thank OGO and Ultimate Superfoods and Earthshift Products for hooking us up with the maximum mineral-rich superfood nutrition here today and if you guys want to check out more of Dr. Robert Kassar's amazing educational edutainment videos go right here to this link subscribe to his videos on YouTube and check out his amazing work he's really helping to revolutionize the world get people healthy get them into a higher state of consciousness and make it easy for you to do at the same time so check his stuff he's out he's got all the recipes see I do certain things uh, uh, you know in the educational side and he's doing this side over here that takes a long time to make these things taste not superb. Make them taste so you're gonna want them tomorrow again over and over. But there's a reason why you're doing these things. So once you watch, the lectures are long because there's a lot of information, but spend time and watch the lectures if you can. And you know, there, there's a, a big movement for you to have reason in your brain, reason to why would you want to do this? It's because most of the foods that we have are demineralized, number one. Two, they're contaminated with all different types of pesticides, insecticides, and herbicides, and the packaging and all in plastic. So the idea is that you're just really trying to get on a more naturalistic lifestyle. Yes. And once you do this for a month or two, your whole system changes and your mind changes and you would definitely tell a friend all the time because this is what it is. You're, you're just wanting to become more complete and feel better and the way you do it is by eating real food, not fake food. Well said, sir. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you, I believe, in a vlog coming up where this man is gonna show me some of his workout secrets so I can take my body and my health and fitness to the next level. We'll see you guys in a bit. We'll see you. Peaches. <laughs>